women in this process want? Why do women join a foreign affair? What are their expectations? I've asked hundreds and hundreds of foreign women from all over the world that question in the past 10 years. And you know what essentially these women will say in response to that is, I want whatever I have right now plus the guy. So a lot of these women join us because they live in a place where it's difficult to either find a life partner or to find a monogamous life partner. And uh, you know they'll, they'll tell us, my life here, contrary to what you may have heard from in your media, is fine. I mean, I work long hours perhaps for a little pay, but I do work and I have a steady income and I have a place to live. I have access to health care when I need it or if my child needs it. My child has education, a promising education. I can pay the bills. I'm not looking over my shoulder at any creditors or anything like that. If I want to go out to dinner occasionally, I can afford to do that. If I want to go on a little bit of a vacation here and there, I can do that. Uh, you know, Pretty much whatever I want to do most of the time within reason can be accomplished, I just don't have the guy. And 99% of the foreign women who come to our agency will tell us exactly that. So if you can add a loving, faithful, monogamous guy to that process, that would make me really happy. So when the women come here, guys, their expectations don't necessarily change as far as, you know, what they want in their lives. They want to come here and work because they could work where they were. They want to have a bank account, a shared bank account, access to money that they will earn or two of you will share together. That's what they had there. They want to have access to health care if they need it and certainly for well care and those kinds of programs for themselves and their children, dental care, vision care, etc. And you know, again, they have that there, so they'll want it here. be able to pay the bills, they want to be able to go on a picnic on the weekend, occasionally buy a toy for the child, occasionally buy ice cream or dinner or whatever it is that we do in our spare time, what we would consider to be those, those frivolous you know, fun things that we do. They want to do all of that, just as we do, just as they do, but they want the monogamous, faithful, loving life partner in addition to that. Right? I think most of you guys are up to that, so I just wanted you to be aware of what their expectations are when they come here. A lot of guys ask that question. so. So here's something else actually that, that women in this process want. They want to experience a courtship and a love relationship at a very realistic pace. And this is something that trips a lot of guys up because a lot of the work that we do here at A Foreign Affair when we reach out and talk to the guys and when we're coaching the guys who are going on our romance tours, certainly a lot of the stuff that I put in my book and that we dedicate our blogs and our webcasts and our conferences to is to show you guys that these are very real women who are not poor, dumb, and desperate like our media wants us to believe that they are. They're not living in mud huts. They're not waiting for some Neanderthal to come over and throw them on his back across the Bering Straits to America. Contrary to what the media would have us believe, that is nothing like the women that you're going to meet in this process who are typically educated, quite intelligent, very self-respecting, very capable, resourceful women, right? But they want to fall in love, but that has to happen at a natural process. Too many times, guys, we write letters to women that we believe are, you know, really lonely and really desperate. The women aren't desperate, alone, but not desperate, right? So we're writing the letters and we're falling in love through our own correspondence, whether we realize it or not. Guys make the mistake of doing that all the time. We fall in love through letters before we've even met somebody. And then we get on the plane, we go and meet somebody, and we have a great beginning, a couple of first great dates, but you know, we've already been in love four months ago from all of our correspondence, so we guys are ready to fall in love as soon as we meet. I mean, it's just a matter of getting the technicality of the meeting out of the way, and then we're in love, right? And, and guys believe many times that they are in love after a first meeting, after a little bit of correspondence, when in fact, of course, love takes time to develop. It makes sense, right? You need a courtship, you need time to get to know each other, you need your common ground to build, you need your chemistry to build, your attraction to each other, you need to share a lot of stuff, you need to open up, get beyond barriers. The normal falling in love process is definitely part of the deal when you get on the plane and go and meet these ladies. men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Interested? Learn more at CartagenaDating.com If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.